how far is the Bipartisan talks and what are we expecting from these talks? So, the Bipartisan talks between Kenya Kwanza and Azmio hold a significant implications for the political landscape in Kenya. So, in this analysis, I'm going to delve into the depths of these talks, exploring their scope and political impact. Ladies and gentlemen, before I go deep to the discussion of this topic and see what it means politically, welcome to my channel. My name is Delmas. If you're for the first time, kindly subscribe, turn on the notification bell. If you're watching me for the first time, please do so. Don't forget also to like this video. For the returning subscribers, thank you very much. And for those who are watching me from a different platform, kindly go YouTube, uh, search DMTV Kenya, subscribe also, watch again my videos and like. Let's go straight to the analysis of this topic I've brought to you today. Firstly, I want to say that it is crucial uh, to understand the context in which these talks are taking place. Kenya Kwanza uh, is a political alliance that was formed by various parties. And Azimio is a coalition that is being led by Raila Morodinga, who is a prominent political figure in our country. The fact that these two entities have come together to engage in bipartisan negotiations, uh, it implies a willingness to preach ideological differences and collaborate for broader political goals. Uh, the main objective of bipartisan talks uh, is to find common ground and reach consensus on political national issues. So by engaging in dialogue, it demonstrates a commitment towards political stability, unity and shared vision for the betterment of Kenya. So, these talks uh, sometimes can span a wide range of topics or it, it is going to span that wide range of topics from policy matters to electoral forms, governance issues and national development agendas. Uh, when we go to the, the side of political standpoint, the emergence of bipartisan talks between Kenya Kwanza and Azimio signifies a potential shift in the dynamics of Kenyan politics. Uh, when we go to history, Kenyan politics has been characterized by a highly uh, environment that it is favorable with rifle uh, factions often engaging in fierce competition and unmost. However, uh, with these talks, there is a potential for a more cooperative and inclusive political landscape. So, this development also suggests a willingness on the part of both parties to transit uh, their bipartisan interests and prioritize the national interests. By setting aside their differences, it means uh, these political entities recognize the need for collaboration and compromise to address the complex challenges faced by the country. The outcomes of these talks can influence the broader political scenario in our country. So, in Kenya Kwanza and Azimio successfully 
reach uh, agreements of significant issues, it may lead to the formation of a strong and unified political front. And in this alliance, it could potentially reshape the political landscape, uh, Ghana broader public support, and can also increase their chances of success in future elections. It is also important to acknowledge uh, that bipartisan talks are a complex and delicate process. While they can contribute to political stability and national progress, challenges and disagreements are around. It is crucial for both parties uh, to nurture an environment of trust where all Kenyans are going to be satisfied with what the leaders are going to come out with. Transparency is very important and mutual respect to ensure that uh, all those talks were transparent. In conclusion, what I mean is that uh, the bipartisan talks between Kenya Kwanza and Azimio Laumoja indicate a significant development in the political landscape in our country. These talks hold the potential to foster political stability, unity and collaboration in addressing uh, critical issues in our country. So the outcomes of these discussions can reshape the political dynamics and pave the way for a more inclusive and cooperative political environment in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this up to the end. If you forgot to subscribe, subscribe, hit the uh, like the like button and turn on the notification bell. And for those who are watching me from a different platform, kindly go YouTube, search DMTV, subscribe also.